Hello everyone, today I have another Game Maker Studio tutorial for you on saving and loading DS lists. Um, this is something that will come in handy quite a bit in making games, uh, especially if you want to, you know, load or save an inventory, you know, anything that could be used with a list. So I have two ways of doing this. I have just two example objects, um, and we'll just kind of look over the code of how I do this. So in the create event of this first example, we'll be saving it probably the easiest way. This is by far the easiest way of saving a list in my opinion. So here we just create the list. I call it example one. And then we add some values to it, uh, just a, a range of strings and numbers and then we go ahead and create a temporary variable which is the save string and we write our list using dslist write and that writes our list to a string and then we can then create an ini file and simply write that string to the file close it up again and then for loading it, I simply create an alarm. Uh, and once that alarm is triggered, we just open that file back up. Uh, and we create another temporary variable, which is the load string. And this time we just read that string that we saved uh, to the file previously. Now we have to check if this string isn't empty because our default is an empty string. And if something happened with saving this list and it uh, did not save anything, then whenever you try to read the list again, um, it'll throw an error because this is an empty string. And another note here is that the list that you want to load it to must be created prior to reading it. You can't just throw in... Uh, any list value that you want. It won't be created. You have to create it prior. Now if you remember in the create event we already created this so no problem there. Um, although it would be a good idea to make a, a copy of the list and then load that in and replace the previous list. But in this tutorial I don't think that's necessary. Um, and then down here I just have um, a value printed to the debug console to show that this list was successfully loaded. So I can go ahead and if I go into room one I can place my first example in here, bring up my debug console down here, and when we run this um, you'll see down here it says hello and if we look at the list value which I was retrieving 0, 1, 2 is hello and if you remember the only way that this string is loaded in is in the alarm where it's loaded so it shows that loading it actually does work um, if we go ahead and remove that example from our room. I'll show you example two. And this is a bit more complicated, but it's still fairly simple, uh, still pretty easy. And this way, you can save multiple lists uh, using a map. And then you can simply use Game Maker's features of saving that map. So I'll walk you through how I did that. I just create a list here, add some values to it like I did previously, and then I create a save map in a temporary variable. And then I add the list we created to that map using a key. And then you can go ahead and just save that map using DS map secure save and you just input a file name it will create that file automatically or overwrite the current one. So 
Then down here I have the alarm zero triggered to load it. And in here it's fairly simple. We just say uh, we create a load map variable and a load list variable. So we load the map using DS map secure load from the file we saved it to. And then we can get the list from that map by just finding the value for the key we saved it to. So now load list holds the DS list that we saved to it in the create event. And here I create another temporary variable called test value just to print out the first value in the load list to make sure that it does load. And if we look at the first value, 0, 1, that is test 2. And if I go to room 1, we go ahead and throw in our example 2, bring up my debug console, and you can see that test 2 is properly displayed. So I just thought this would be helpful to some of you starting in GameMaker, uh, kind of curious about how you'd save different data structures. Um, these were two of the simplest methods I've found for saving DS lists. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I'll see you next time.